Since I have to go past my childhood home that I lived in from 1973 until pretty much until I had my daughter, 1997. And if I start crying, y'all, y'all know I'm emotional. You know, um, I be feeling it. Um, but it's time for me to say my goodbyes. say goodbyes it's legitimately um like the Marie Kondo you, know, you no longer have a use for anything um I love my I love my home I love my country unfortunately my country does not love me as much as I love it you know what is that saying the the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results i've been here since 1969 yeah i just kind of told my age it's okay I'm, I'm good with that when i go to the continent i expect to reverse in my year i've been blessed i wish some of you all live as long as me it's it's not working so i'm gonna go somewhere else and see if i could try something different and try something new while working on getting fabulous i want to share something for my children i want them to see and know places so when I'm not here they can connect with me their mother so this is tan talon square you see tan talon. I used to catch the bus right here at this right here we used to catch the bus here well that may that may have been middle school and elementary we caught the bus here right here right here we used to catch the bus here that's when i went to fort washington elementary that was sean burwell's home right there he grew up a boy i grew up with he, that was a jehovah witness family to the left that was miss verna up here this house here was my friend neville so this street is diaz street this is where i grew up a very diverse neighborhood black white asian there wasn't any i don't remember any latino family look like there's latinos living here now and y'all this is my childhood home right here 402 this is my childhood home right here this is where i grew up at i have so many memories there we got a pool in the backyard and these were my childhood friends, their home. Oh my gosh. The Boggs used to live here. And you see back there, that was swamps. And we had back there, oh my goodness now. Let me see. This is new. Okay, you see where this sign right here, 
was the end of this street and all of this was woods and we had a trail back here that we called dead man hill and we could come up here man we would come out bloody because it was the steepest hill and we used to get beat down for coming back here oh my goodness and that was one of the beauties about living out here was my backyard was literally the woods they've taken that away look what they're doing this was all like wood it was just nature and i grew up you know catching turtles snakes i played back here makes me miss my parents makes me miss my mom Miss Beverly and James. Make me miss my family. Man. All right, guys. I'm heading to one of my favorite. I, I can't believe I used to walk this road. Or Washington National Park. Yeah, we used to hang up here when we were teenagers. Chewy. Chewy's not feeling it. It's too hot out here for him. I'm mass free and it's feeling good. So as an elementary kid and a teenager, me and my friends used to come here and we used to, you see those woods, they, these woods have like trails. Hold on, bathroom break. So you see, we have a trash problem here. Jokers come here and throw their trash everywhere. Not as bad as some places, but they do it here too. We're not immune to the garbage behavior. A lot of garbage behavior here. But look at that. The water. So, man, I have some great childhood memories here. But you know what? You have to let go. You have to make room for new memories. So that's what I'm doing. Releasing, thanking my home, thanking my childhood memories for the space that they have created in my mind, in my heart, my soul, that I've been able to pass down to my children. And I'm gonna do this. I have to say goodbye. When you realize you're really on a certain path, it gets emotional. I was talking to my sister in Anja Africa. Shout out, sis. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. You guys, go check out her channel. She's on the ground, boots running, getting info, bringing the uploads for us. And I was talking to her and she was telling me how, you know, how, the realization of her trotting and the emotions that she went through. And I know she's going to share it. And while we were talking about it, I was here and I was telling her I made it to my childhood. Um, it's one of my childhood memories because I have to start saying goodbye. I got to start let, letting go. I start releasing and I, and I feel the emotions. Well, uh, it's just like to know I'm making plans and I'm preparing to create memories that are going to be great ones. But I'll no longer have access to these to be able to come to a place where I can just remember. Come on.
girl is out of shape. That's okay. I'm working on it. I'm on my 90 day raw food vegan. I had a quick cry session. I'm like, am I really going to do this? Now I see why I was wondering, like, why are YouTubers going to like the high school and going here and going? I was like, I get it. You, it's part of you. It's part of what created you. It's what part of what molded you into who you are today. These relics, <laughs> these relics, are part of who I am. I grew up playing in these historic places. And I didn't even really think twice about it. Man. Come to Fort Washington. It's Empress, the Global Green Book. I'm sharing my journey with you guys. I love you all. Stay tuned. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, share, share. And please leave comments. Ask me anything. Um, whatever you want me to share with you what I'm doing along the way these bugs are driving me crazy and um, if I can help you I will um, it get it can get overwhelming especially because I'm working two jobs but I will try my best because that's my intention all right family one love